Yes, people, what's going on? Welcome to Stretford Paddock. I am Adam McCullough. We are back for another top five. Hope you guys enjoyed Jay's top five defenders that could join Manchester United. And in today's video, I'm going to bring you top five midfielders that could join Manchester United in the summer. In at number one, a man like Declan Rice, West Ham's 22-year-old central defensive midfielder. His contract expires in 2024, so about three years left on that contract deal. No transfer mark, so his value is around £54 million. Now, I've got to say, £54 million sounds quite good, doesn't it? But we know for a fact, with him being English, with him playing for West Ham, all those kind of things, his age, his quality, etc., that price is going to go £80 million plus. It's one of the reasons I've been against the signing of Declan Rice in the past, but I've got to tell you the truth here. I have been proven wrong by Declan Rice over the last 12 to 18 months. He's shown me a player that I didn't really think was in there. I thought we were looking at a player that was just, you know, a standard midfielder. But I've got to say, he's got a touch of the characters about him and what he does in front of that defence. It goes unnoticed um, if you're watching the game. He's got cover um, in terms of the intelligence to get there and protect his defence. He can win the ball back and his passing range is pretty good as well. He keeps it simple and gets the ball released so that others can go and attack. He's a very, very good defensive midfielder. The only problem for me would be his price. Like, they're going to ask for crazy amounts of money for him. But Manchester United should be in and around those kind of players. The best young English talent coming through at other clubs. It's the kind of signing Sir Alex Ferguson would have snapped off your hand over the years. And Declan Rice is another one of those. And he continues to be linked with Manchester United, Chelsea, and a whole host of other clubs. Now, because Lampard is no longer at Chelsea and he was a big admirer of Declan Rice, maybe the door could be open a little bit. Left the jar, if you could say for Declan Rice's move to Manchester United. In at number two, it's that man Wilfred Ndidi. Yes, Ndidi, he's gonna be linked with Manchester United this summer. We already know that. And of course, he plays in a position that Manchester United need Ndidi. If Ndidi played for Manchester United, we'd have 10, 15 more points this season. I'm pretty sure about that. I'm pretty sure about that. He is a top quality player, 86.7% in his pass completion. 3.5 tackles per 90 minute. He also chips in with 0.5 shots per 90 minutes, but that's not his ballpark. His ballpark, protecting defense, getting his tackles in, getting his interceptions in, getting the ball released, and move forward to the likes of Yuri Tillsman, James Madison's, etc., to allow Leicester City to be able to build their attacks. He has gone in at Leicester City and made it seem like they don't even miss N'Golo Kante, and you've got to be top quality to be able to do that. Now, transfer mark have his value at around £45 million on there. And I've got to say, that would be a pretty good cost for a man like Wilfred Ndidi, paying just that much for him. Wilfred Ndidi who's already experienced in the Premier League and played at a very good level for Leicester City. The problem is though, he's at Leicester City. Maybe they're going to get Champions League football this year. You know, they don't need the money. They don't need the money. But in terms of cost effectiveness, in terms of value for money, probably be more value for money than Declan Rice, probably be easier to get, but you're coming up against a club that's not gonna wanna sell, and might be in the Champions League. So it's a very difficult one to make happen, but expect Wilfred Ndidi to be linked with Manchester United. And if he's not, he bloody well should be. And at number three, this man's already been linked with Manchester United. Expect him to continue to be linked with Manchester United. He has been compared to the likes of Paul Pogba, but he's clearly his own man. Eduardo Camavinga of Ren, 18 years old, plays in that central defensive midfield position. Now his contract, listen to this, expires in 2022. So unless he signs a new deal, you might be able to get him in a bargain transfer from Ren. His value on transfer mark is around £54 million. And like I say, when you take into consideration that contract, when you take into consideration his age, etc., that price is probably around fair. Now, in terms of goals and assists, you know, 34 games this season, only one goal, one assist. So that's not his part, but 2.8 tackles per 90, 90% pass success rate. The geezer knows how to keep the ball. He knows how to win the ball back. He knows how to protect his defense. He knows how to get his team going again. He's clearly gonna be a huge, huge star for France. Could he be a star for Manchester United? Could Manchester United 
get in there and get him, they're going to face a lot of competition if they do want him. Real Madrid have been linked with him. Barcelona have been linked with him. Paris Saint-Germain have been linked with him, as you'd expect them to mop up any sort of player that's in and around France. But there'll be more and more clubs linked with the signing as well of Eduardo Camavinga, even in the Premier League. This kind of signing, you get one of these players, it reminds me kind of like, I remember when SEM was coming through and you kind of get that feeling, whoever gets this guy have got a top talent on their hands. You had it when Paul Pogba was leaving La Havre. Whoever gets this player has got a top, top talent on their hand. And you seem to get that feeling about Eduardo Camavinga. Now for me, I can see him destined playing at the Bernabeu in all white. But if Manchester United can get him, we should snap Wren's hands off and bring him to Old Trafford. Come to death row, Eduardo. In at number four, Sal Niguez. What an absolute talent this man is. Plays for Atletico Madrid, big, big part of their team. He's 26 years old, yeah. And it feels like he's been on the block for about 10, 15 years. Incredible player, incredible player. His contract expires in 2026, so still a long time to go on that deal, which means he is gonna cost the big bucks. Now, I'm surprised by his value on transfer marked, 49.5 million. That's less than the other players that we've spoken about today. But I'd put Sam Niguez probably at the top of them. Yes, the others have great potential. Yes, they could get to that level and beyond the level of Sam Niguez. But you know if you get Sam Niguez, you're getting a man that's about to hit his peak prime years. And if his last couple of years are anything to go by, you are getting an absolute baller. 29 appearances. Just the two goals, but like we're saying, we're looking at players that can sit there in front of your defence, keep things simple, get you ticking over again. 86.3% pass success rate for him, 1.4 tackles per 90. Having played for someone like Diego Simeone as well, experienced in the Champions League, top level in La Liga, loads of clubs will be queuing up for this guy in the summer. The problem is, he's linked with a move every single transfer window, just doesn't seem to do one from Atletico Madrid. Will he this summer? Who knows? I'd love him to join Manchester United. I doubt he will. He's still on my list though. In at number five, now I know I've been going with the number sixes, the players that just sit there in front of your defence, hold it, keep it simple, get you moving forward. Now this one is in a little bit more of the Bruno Fernandes mold. And I don't know whether that's because of his name. Pedro Gonçalves, he plays for Sporting. So there's loads of comparisons to Bruno Fernandes. 22 years old, central midfielder, contract expires in 2025. The cheapest player, according to transfer mark on this list, at 13.5 million pounds. He's played 27 games this season and he scored 15 goals. He's putting up Bruno type numbers for Sporting Lisbon. And of course, the press are therefore gonna say, United signed Bruno. They're gonna sign this lad as well. Oh, the next Bruno. Oh, the next Bruno. You know what the newspapers are like. They're always at it. The next this, the next that, the next this. Is Pedro Gonçalves gonna be coming to Manchester United? Probably not, but I'm not surprised to see us linked with him, especially when you consider Jesse Lingard could be on his way out of Manchester United. You've got Juan Mata who could be on his way out of Manchester United. Loads of players in that mould. Andreas Pereira is still on loan. You know, we'll be looking to sell him. Are you going to bring in a player to sit in that attacking midfield role, be one of the options on the bench, maybe be a rotation with Bruno Fernandes? When you do decide to rotate him, possibly, possibly. Expect Pedro Conchalves to be linked with Manchester United as the summer goes on. Whether he signs for us or not, though, is another story. And remember, throughout the summer, yeah, we'll be keeping it covered all the transfer window in fact before the summer we'll be keeping you informed of every single little bit of gossip rumors reports breaking news everything so make sure you're hitting that subscribe button getting your notifications on liking this video do all that stuff you can even join and become a member for a little bit extra content as well and make sure you're keeping it locked on padded for now though guys i have been adam mccullough this has been my top five midfielders manchester united could sign get your top five in the comments below. And for now, I'm out of here.